Hi, and welcome back to another video on the series Building the EMG6 Electric Motor Glider. I'm Brian Carpenter, and today I'm down in the big hangar here, and I've got the fuselage frame from prototype number two on the floor. We've disassembled all the rest of the parts on the airplane so that we can use it for static load testing over the next couple of weeks. And because I'm all alone this weekend, all by myself, uh, I thought I'd just get a jump on one of the load tests that we're going to do, and that's going to be to validate the structure on the pilot seat. Um, this should be kind of interesting. I'll see if I can do it by myself without knocking the airplane over, and we'll get started right after this. So we're going to do a few things here. One of them is uh, we've got a set of scales, and we're um, we're going to use the scales underneath the airplane to validate how much total weight that we've got on the airplane. So. going to zero those out and I've got a little bit of tear on here. Because I'm alone I'm going to put um, the airplane up onto um, a big 4x4 so that I can have a little bit of stability and I'm going to screw it into the 4x4 so let's just move this right in position. Equal load out on both scales so we're, we're using two scales that will put us more in the range with the total capacity because each one of the load cells is only 1,500 pounds, so that'll help with that. And these blocks I just had on here for getting the airplane position. The next step, let's 4130 rods that I can just put into the axle hole here, and I can. Some big monster screws here. That'll hold that sucker down. So that's going to be a little bit more stable. And I've got a 750 pound ratchet strap holding the tail down because what we've basically done is we are we're applying all the load from the seat which will go right to the axle which is also the lift strut attachment. And so the primary spot for lifting all of that weight during flight is going to be off of the lift struts and the main struts. But uh, we can still validate this pretty effectively by just going off of just the lift strut. So all the load is now placed right directly onto the lift strut. And we're just going to put the weight onto the, onto the seat here. So we're going to be placing sandbags on the seat here. So we've got to get some kind of structure to be able to support the stupid sandbags. They, um, surprisingly, even though as, as dense as the sandbags are, um, uh, we got to be careful that the bags don't rip open and, and tip the airplane over. We're still a little bit iffy on the stability of this. So we got some two by fours here that will help distribute that load on the, on the sandbags themselves. I can probably even expand these out a little bit more. There, that should, that should do that. Okay, just for reference purposes, with all the tear and everything that I've got on in the airframe, I'm at 100 pounds right now, 100 and, 
109 pounds right now, weighing the, the force that's down on the tail that the ratchet strap is pulling down, the weight of the fuselage, all of the boards that I have on the frame, and the 2x4 and the chrome molly, all of that, we're at 100 and 109 pounds right now. Each one of these are 60 pounds, but we can't count on them. That's why we've got the scales underneath this thing to just kind of give a more accurate accounting. Okay, so let's talk about what we're trying to accomplish here. The whole goal is to position the weight as close to the center of gravity of the pilot as possible. And we're having to put a lot of um, sandbags on this thing in order to be able to accomplish that. But the general gist of this here is we want to position the center of mass um, for all of the bags that we're putting on there as closely related to the pilot position as possible. And so we're just, we're kind of eyeballing this, and we know that the center mass of a pilot sitting in the prone position is about a fist distance away from um, your solar plexus, and so about uh, three inches in front of your chest when you're in the seated position. Now the seat position can also be moved, but that kind of gives us a general idea of about where the center of all the sandbags are supposed to go. getting kind of precarious. I think I'm going to have to find a ratchet strap to hold all this in place. Okay, so I've got a ratchet strap here. So what we're trying to accomplish here is to hold the sandbags onto the airplane without them falling off to either side. If they were to start to go, they'd probably tip the airframe over, even though we do have it attached to that board at the bottom. But what we don't want to do is we don't want the sandbags to rest on any of the upper portion of the structure. We're trying to place the load directly down onto the uh, seat pan itself. And so uh, we want to keep it away from the keel and away from the center. And then we'll place some boards on top of those to build a new platform that we can um, now lay the sandbags across those and of course um, making sure that the sandbags um, don't interfere with any of the structure so that we can displace that load um, onto the structure. Um, that'll build a platform now that we can uh, build off of and continue up. Um, we're getting pretty high. I didn't position the camera very well for this because uh, we're actually um, ending up going above the top of the frame of the camera but you'll kind of get the idea here. Thirteen hundred and eighty three pounds so far.
could go south so quick. Okay, I don't think that I'm gonna risk any more on there. I'm gonna quit right there, but total load on the scale is 1,451 pounds right now, which we'll work out the math and see what that gives us. But by myself, I think this is as much as I dare go. So I'm gonna start taking this thing apart. So let's just review what we were trying to accomplish here. Let's assume that our max pilot weight is 225 pounds and we are designing the aircraft to a 4G load rating. That'll give us 900 pounds of load on the seat. And then we need a 1.5 safety factor, so that gives us 1,350 pounds. So that's our goal that we're shooting for. So we had on the scales the initial weight with the boards on the airframe at 109 pounds. Uh, we weighed the boards after the fact at 27 pounds, and that gave us an airframe weight of 82 pounds. So our final scale reading was 1,451 pounds, and subtracting out the 82-pound airframe weight left us with 1,342 pounds of load on the seat. And we didn't quite reach the 1,350, but we're pretty close, and that was a pretty good demonstration on how we go through the um, actual process of loading up the airplane to validate the structural design. Okay, whoops, trip over that cord. So anyway, we're done with that segment. We got the sandbags put away. Let's go into the shop and we'll do a little bit of math and find out exactly where we were. And hopefully this will be sufficient for this portion. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay. That's all. 